do you see these four gigantic stacks of books? Because you know what that means. We're here for another book haul. So yes, I'm here with another book haul. However, we do know that my New Year's goal was to buy less books. Or like quality of a quantity, I never said buy less books. And I have, I have not bought any books this year. These are all my Christmas and end of year book buying haul. When I never filmed the end of the year haul, which I should have done. I forgot I had not done it. So here I am to finally film my haul for you, which makes me look like I've bought a lot of books when I haven't, I have not. This is not like last January where I bought 50 books in a month. It's not. I have received two pre-orders in the whole of January and that is it. I have a stack for gifted, normally, normally. I have a stack for gifted for Christmas and then two stacks of books I bought because I'm problematic. Let's start with the books I was gifted but not for Christmas. So first of all Jade came to visit and we bought each other a book. So Jade bought me this one which is Light Lark by Alex Astor. We had to buy a book that we both thought the other person would like and I think I'd really like this one and so did Jade. So <laughs> Uh, now I'm really excited to read this and hopefully it'll be a good one. I know that this was very popular on TikTok and it does have a sequel out. I don't know if that's like the final book in the series or not, but it's basically like the Hunger Games where an island appears every 100 years uh, and they host a deadly game where the rulers of six realms fight to break their curses and win power. So this sounds really, really interesting. I love the fact that it's floppy. Ah. Um, and yes, thank you Jade for doing our little challenge with me. This is very fun and I'm very excited to pick this one up. It's a high priority for me. From um, the publishers, I was sent Ghost Roast by Sean L and Sean A. Gibbs and Emily Cannon. This is about Chelsea, whose dad is a paranormal removal expert in New Orleans. And then she has to work there all summer because she can see them. So this is really fun. The original like full color looks incredible. So part of me doesn't want to read this arc because obviously it turns to black and white and this color looks amazing, but I'm going to see how I like the story. And then if I like it, I'll pick up a finished copy. I'm truly in love with this color palette and this art style. Wow. So I'm really excited to pick this one up and see Chelsea's story, especially when ghosts are involved because I love ghosts. So thank you to the publisher for that one. From Jade, I already owned the actual book fourth wing however jade got me this custom dust jacket and it's just incredible look at that i've seen this everywhere everybody you know has been talking about these dust jackets and you can get them in white or black and i obviously got the black edition and oh, phenomenal it's truly the most beautiful thing so i just put it over the original dust jacket this doesn't even count as a book haul it's just a dust jacket but i really wanted to show you the dust jacket because it's probably one of the most beautiful things i own i'm literally in love with it phenomenal and it's displayed on my shelf because it is beautiful and i love it so yes look at that spine oh my god so thank you so much to jade because wow also from jade because jade's a slay Jade works in a small independent bookshop, so they get some really cool books. They got a signed edition of Bookshops and Bone Dust by Travis Baldry. First of all, look at the art. Phenomenal. And the fact that it's signed. Considering Legends and Lattes is one of my favourite books ever, to own this signed is probably one of my biggest life achievements. And I'm so happy to own it. I'm so happy to be able to dive into this world. I did have an arc of it, but I was so scared of reading this book and it letting me down that I've been procrastinating it but now that I own it physically there's no excuse so next from Kira uh Kira sent me her copy of Yellow Face by Rebecca Kwong I can't remember why <laughs> she was getting rid of this because it was so long ago that we discussed it that's exciting it is signed thank you so much Kira I still don't know why you got rid of this I assume it's because Kira doesn't keep physical copies of books very often I've been wanting to read this for a while. Um, I've never actually read an RF Kwong book. I used to own the Poppy War and then I unhauled it and I've never read Babel. So this is the one that like intrigues me the most and the synopsis sounds like the best fit for me personally. I'm excited to read this, especially now that I finally have a copy. Thank you, Kira. Then Lauren sent me this book and it is just the most beautiful book I've ever seen. Hold your breath. 
Trapped is a Starling House by Alexi e. Harrow. Oh my God. Let me just, let me just give you a little tour. But do you see this dust jacket? It's like plastic. Look at that, it's like see-through. And then the book underneath, there are no words. There are truly no words for how stunning, incredible, beautiful this is. So Lauren sent this to me, not knowing that I was going to like read it. Like I didn't know Lauren was sending it to me and I picked it up while the book was in transit. And I ended up really liking this book. I gave it a four stars. I thought it was so good. Um, considering I've DNF'd Alex E. Harrow's books before, that was a very pleasant surprise. So this worked out so well. And I am so thankful to Lauren for sending me this beauty because what the hell, it is stunning. I have never seen anything like it. And I do have my little note from Lauren because I keep all my notes from Lauren. I love her. Thank you so much, Lauren. There aren't truly no words. The next books are from Jade again. Jade spoiled me. I don't know what was going on with Jade. I haven't seen Jade in ages. And when she came to my house, she'd been like collecting books to give me. And I was like, okay, Jade, thanks. She gave me, I, I, I have no words. My friends are the bestest friends on this entire planet. Like, I just don't know how I'm so lucky to have all of them. Um, this Poison Heart duology from Fairy Glute. I love this duology. I've talked about it before. I've really, really enjoyed it. And I do have my paperbacks there. And what I love about it is the paperbacks are green and pink. And then these are purple and blue. So they look amazing in a row together. They have sprayed edges. And I believe they're both signed. So, so now I own four, five, six. I think I now own six signed <laughs> Cayman Bayron books. And I couldn't be happier about it. I absolutely love this duology. I recommend it to everybody. It's such a fun YA gothic witchy series or duology and I love it so much. The fact that I have these beautiful editions of them now as well is just unbelievable. I didn't even know they did these. These are stunning. Like how am I not crying right now? I feel like I want to cry. Like I'm all emotion. <laughs> then we have the Christmas stack. So first of all my brother got me some books. He got me A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. This is my third copy of this book. He didn't know I already owned it but I was excited. He was like, well, at least I knew your tastes. So now I have another copy that I can annotate or do whatever the heck I want with. And then he also got me The Ruthless, La the Ruthless Lady's Guide to Wizardry by C.M. Magonna. I've seen this floating around. It sounds really, really fun. And I'd already almost picked this up for myself before. So the fact that, you know, I have a copy of these now makes me really happy. I think it's like a fantasy historical romance mystery, I think with necromancers. I'm not entirely sure. All I know is it sounds like my kind of thing. I'm excited to read this one and pick it up very soon. So thank you, Weird, even though you're probably not watching this. <laughs> From Lauren, I got three books. When Starling House was more than enough. First of all, I got Long Live the Pumpkin Queen by Shay Earnershaw. I am so excited about this. I just read the Nightmare Before Christmas book that I bought from Yalk. So the fact that I have this to dive straight into makes me so happy. I have put so much pressure on myself for this book. I'm literally like, I'm picking the perfect evening where I have nothing to do. I'm gonna sit with a hot cup of coffee, an ASMR, and I'm gonna read the hell out of this. I've set like full plans for myself. I'm so excited. Sally is like my favorite thing. I love Sally. I have a whole Nightmare Before Christmas shrine right behind the camera. I love this movie. So the fact that I have more content to dive into, oh, phenomenal. The synopsis sounds so good. The book is beautiful. Thank you so much, Lauren. I also had Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Now, I've heard this is like sci-fi, but easily digestible sci-fi that's actually more fantasy. Every time I bring this up, people tell me it's fantasy. And I think Lauren said she wanted to buddy read it. Yeah, Lauren wants to read this next year, so we are gonna buddy read it. I cannot wait. Uh, I'm really excited about this. I know that it was originally a trilogy and then got extended into a series. So hopefully I like this and I can continue on with it. I am very intrigued by this it sounds really fun and finally one of the most beautiful copies of a book i've ever seen the voice upstairs by laura e weymouth this is a ya horror novel and i have it proudly displayed up there because it is stunning look at that wow we basically follow will who can see ghosts coming out of people's bodies and she suspects that there was a murder 
And so she takes on the role of housemaid for the person that she suspects is the murderer so she can investigate. And it sounds so interesting. It sounds so creepy. The cover is very creepy, especially with that little thing back there. I am so excited to pick this up. I've been kind of putting it off because the cover is so beautiful. I'm scared <laughs> that I've like hyped it up too much, but like it is so beautiful. The color, the shine, everything about it is stunning. And this is now one of my most anticipated reads from my shelves. So thank you so much, Lauren. That was so generous and kind of you. I love you all the world. Next from Robbie, I got The Long Game by Elena Armas. I'm very excited about this one. It is a romance. I'm assuming featuring football. <laughs> um, I have read The Spanish Love Deception and loved it. The American Roommate I thought was okay. I unhauled my copy, but I did enjoy it. So I'm really intrigued to see where this one lands for me. It sounds really, really fun. I love a fluffy romance. This is much shorter than The Spanish Love Deception. So I'm really glad to have my pans on this and hopefully read it soon. Add it to my little romance collection. So thank you so much, Robbie. Then as part of my Christmas present from Jade, she got me some things and then two books. Um, and two books not on my wish list either. So these are very interesting. Firstly, we have Wayward by Amelia Hart. I have heard a lot about this one. I think it's like a feminist witchy story. It says, they tried to cage us, but a wayward woman belongs to the wild. We cannot be tamed. So that sounds really interesting. I love a fam feminist novel. I think it's witches, but I could be wrong. But yeah, it goes through three three women across five centuries. Uh, an enthralling novel of female resilience and the transformative powers of the natural world. So we follow Kate from 2019, Violet from 1942, and Elsa from 1619. I think this is going to be so interesting. I'm really excited to pick this up soon. And also from Jade, we got Women's Law by Sarah Clegg. 4,000 years of sirens, serpents, and succubi. This is a non-fiction. I've never heard of it, but it has the like, cool photos. Look at this one photo. Stunning. And it says, like, Women's Law is a fascinating exploration of the mythology and the trope of the demonic woman that has existed for centuries and persists even today. Thoughtfully researched is an empowering, enlightening read. I think basically it was a story about how we've seen women like Medusa, for example, be villainized as women in mythology and folklore. And this is actually going into why they were that way and how men basically are to blame. <laughs> um, I'm very intrigued by this. As I just said, I'm very into feminist novels. I love anything mythology that surrounds women. I don't like male mythology. I like anything female mythology. So happy to have hands on this one. I hadn't even heard of it before. And that's so fun that Jade like thought of something that I hadn't even seen and was like, yeah, Brooke would love that. Jade knows my taste well. So I'm sure I'm gonna really enjoy these. And I love adding to my women feminist shelf. So these are some stunning new additions. Thank you so much, Jade. And then finally for my gifts, I have from Kira the i don't know what the name of this trilogy is southern reach trilogy by jeff vandermeer i am so intrigued by this so these are all three books we have why are these upside down we have acceptance of no that's the wrong way we have annihilation authority and acceptance the reason i want to read these is because i read eden by tim levin which is like this nature horror and then when i was looking for more books like that one this came up a lot of times along with one more that i have read and i dnf'd i didn't like it um so i'm hoping that this will be a good replacement for that one which i had really high hopes for i think that these are going to be amazing i'm really into nature horror it's my favorite genre of horror especially when it involves paranormal as well which is another of my favorite horror genres so I am so excited to pick these up. And the fact that I own the whole series means that hopefully I can just binge them all, especially as the first book is so short compared to the others. I'm so intrigued. These have great reviews. They seem to be quite iconic reads. So yeah. And they also have a beautiful box set. So thank you so much, Kira. This is very kind of you. Love you a lot. Okay, now we've gotten past the pit where I get emotional because my besties are the best. We have the bit where I get emotional because my bank hurts. Because these are all the books I bought. Uh, now it does span a couple of months, so it's not that bad. And as I said, I've not bought anything this year, so we can't be mad at me now. This is this is past Brooks' bad decisions. My New Year's mo motto, every time I wanna buy something, is consumerism is not hot. 
and it's honestly worked the amount of things i've wanted to buy and i've just gone consumerism is not hot it's worth a treat it's truly worth a treat that's why i've not bought anything so i even went book shopping in bath like i literally went to bath where they have the best bookshops i bought nothing i'm amazing truly i know i'm amazing thank you thank you thank you but these are the books before i came up with my new motto that i purchased so i have problems let's dive straight into the stack first of all we have the last letter by rebecca yaros i don't know how i feel about this it's the author of fourth wing which is why i've picked it up it sounds like it's gonna be a deep romance read very reminiscent of taylor jenkins read style so i'm intrigued to see how the author does when not writing fantasy like fourth wing which I obviously loved. So this is more of like a experiment than anything because I want to know. So I picked this up. Next, I picked up The Serpent and the Wings of Night by Carissa Broadbent. I have already read this. I just wanted a physical copy now that these have released traditionally. And then I ended up rereading it. I'm just in the middle of it now. I started it last night. I'm probably going to finish it today. I am a page 267. That's 50 cents. 257. Featuring Brookmark's bookmark links always below <laughs> um but this is a stunning hardback like underneath the dust jacket is so beautiful and this is just the standard edition so i'm really happy to have my hands on this and i'm loving my reread at the moment before i continue on with the second book a lot of people are wondering um how some people are reading the second book when it's not out so here i am to help you out the second book is not traditionally published yet it is coming however you can still read the indie edition on kindle unlimited you just need a kindle unlimited subscription so the same with the novella the six scorched roses novella so if you want to check them out just get a kindle unlimited subscription so i'm going to be rereading this now to carry on with the series on ku so yeah very very glad to have gotten the hands on this the cover is stunning i absolutely love it then i picked up if you'll have me by uni i think this is a graphic novel it has beautiful sprayed edges it has a gorgeous art style and coloring to it it looks really cute and sweet my graphic novel tbr was at zero and i was just so in the mood for a graphic novel so i picked this one up but now i'm trying to savor it because i don't want to be back to none <laughs> but i am gonna probably just pick this up soon before my interest wanes because i am so excited about it and it looks so cute and i've seen really good things so yeah i'm going to be picking this up very very soon i'm very excited about it it's so sweet looking then i picked up days at the morisaki bookshop by satoshi yagi sawa uh this i've seen doing the rounds at the moment and i picked up this gorgeous exclusive waterstones edition which has like foiling on it and it's so beautiful i will be reading this this month because me and lauren are buddy reading it this is just stories about somebody who owns a bookstore i believe from the sound of it, it sounds like it's going to be very much before the coffee gets cold kind of vibes. I love anything like this. I absolutely love books like those. Some of my favourite books, Before the Coffee Gets Cold, She and Her Cat, translated fiction basically that I've just always adored. And this sounds like it's going to be in a very similar vein. I've just never had a fail with translated fiction, so I'm here. It has a cat on the cover and every time i read a translated fiction with a cat in it i cry my eyes out so i'm so excited to read this like it is one of my priorities next i have glint by raven kennedy this is the second book in the plated prisoner series i read the first book guild thoroughly enjoyed it and instantly was like i need the next one i wanted to straight away read this but then things got in the way other books buddy reads you know series coming out so i needed to reread other things in the series but this is definitely a priority for me. I cannot wait to dive into this. I so loved the first one. I know that this is a romanticy series. Even though we saw no romance in the first book, I was crying in the first book. It was brilliant setup. And I just think that from that point on, it's only going to get better. So I cannot wait to pick this up. If you don't know what it's about, it's a King Midas retelling where we follow our protagonist who has been turned to gold by him and yeah she's an, on a journey basically this is one of my pre-orders that i received this year and that is blood flowers by jay mcginnis apparently i pre-ordered a signed edition so that's pretty cool um this i want to read because i love the wanted growing up and this is like so interesting sounding it is a young man caught between two worlds in an explosive story of love witchcraft betrayal and murder to make your heart race it is a new ya novel it's had a lot of hype around it then i made a purchase of many many books <laughs> a 
by Ella Mays. Um, so here you go. I got To Love Jason Thorne, To Hate Adam Connor, Charlie Love and Clichés, Marriage for One and The Hardest Fall. Have I ever read an Ella Mays before? No. So was it wise to buy all of these? Also no. But here we are and we're going to get on with it now. I do already own Marriage for One on my Kindle. Um, it's still got the man on the cover, like it never updated to have this new cover. So I don't really know if maybe the indie edition is still available, but now I own it physically in the cute new cover, I'd much rather read it like that anyway. So here I have a massive LMA stack. Maybe I will do some sort of reading vlog, who knows. On to the final stack, and boy is it big. Okay, firstly we have Dear Aaron by Mariana Zapata. Uh, it's chunky, it's big. Still thinking about why I bought this one, but the synopsis did sound really, really good, so it might be worth getting through the slow burn long book for, hopefully so. Then we have The League of Gentlewomen Witches by Ild India Holton. I own the first book, very excited to get to it. And this was on sale. I think it was like really cheap, £1.50 or something. So I did pick it up. Hopefully I will love this one. And we have a few books that I bought from the Waterstones half price sale. And one of them was Swordcatcher by Cassandra Clare. I did not like Cassandra Clare's Shadow Hunter universe. I got really far into it and I just couldn't do it anymore. I think I DNF'd the last Mortal Instruments book, um, but the the, th the three book series that was Victorian London or something, that was so good. So I'm hopeful that this one is going to be good now that she's writing adult fantasy. I don't know, it is chonky and big, but like I needed to know, for intellectual purposes, I needed to know. Why is one of my pages cut out? That's weird. Anyway, hopefully I'll pick this up soon, but it is chunky and thick and I don't know. I haven't seen many reviews about it. Like considering it's Cassandra Clare, nobody seems to be talking about this. Next we have two fairy loot books and that is The Bridge Kingdom and The Traitor Queen. I love this series. It's basically a fantasy series that follows couples in twos. So this is the first couple. The second couple is my favourite and I hope we get them soon. But these are really, really beautiful covers. So we've got this first cover here with sprayed and stenciled edges. They are signs. They also have reverse, like no, naked hardback art. And then you have an alternate cover that you could also use. I personally prefer the original cover that it came with. So I'm sticking with these, but they really are beautiful. And I cannot wait to collect the next ones when they come out soon. I just love this series. It's so good. The other one of my pre-orders to have come in is Feybound by Sarah L. Arifi. This is a new adult fantasy series and I read the first book that this author put out, The Final Strife, and I really really enjoyed it. So I pre-ordered this. I did not know it was going to come with these edges. I was so shocked. It has a beautiful coloured map which is just beautiful and it's even signed. So I am super duper happy <laughs> and um, yeah, I cannot believe I got my hands on this. Then I got in the, again in the half price sale, I got quite a few of these in that. I got Girl Goddess Queen by B. Fitzgerald. I think this is a Hades and Persephone retelling, but maybe YA, I think it's YA, but it's so stunning. Hardback, and I think this is just the regular edition. It's so beautiful. Books have really upped their game recently. These exclusive end papers are so gorgeous. As I've already mentioned in this video, I love mythology and the fact that this is following Persephone, absolutely phenomenal. And I think it's like, not when I say Hades Persephone, I think it's purely Persephone. It says to hell with love, this goddess has other plans. Feminist mythology. What more can I want? Then I picked up Welcome to the Huanan Dong Bookshop. First of all, I bought it because the cover is absolutely everything. Secondly, again, translated works. Obviously, I was going to pick this up. And thirdly, it's about a bookshop. This woman starts up a bookshop. What more could I possibly want? It's so beautiful. I know I'm gonna love this. Like, ugh, translated books just do it for me. So really glad to be extending my collection. I bought The Naturals because this series is taking everybody by storm right now on booktube. Apparently it's Criminal Minds. I've not watched Criminal Minds, so that doesn't really do much for me personally, but the way everybody's talking about this, it's super short and sounds super duper fun. So I cannot wait to pick this up. 
it sounds really really good i also can't remember if this was the book jade got for me in the challenge or whether it was light lark i feel like it could have been this one i'm not sure but it was one of these books so um i cannot wait for this one anyway it sounds really really good and i picked up sweet pea by cj skews i think this is a funny thriller like i think it's meant to be fun but also thrilling i don't know um all i know is that everybody seems to love this connor loves this lauren loves this so i was like i need to love this so i picked it up it was on sale in the works i did what i did and i love that it's pink oh i put this in the wrong pile this was a gift from jade it was in my basket i must have put it in the wrong pile for some reason this is the cheerleaders by cara thomas this is a ya thriller that i wanted to read since i got on youtube um but this was not meant to be in this pile i did not buy this jade bought this <laughs> i must have put it in the wrong stack but i'm really intrigued by this it's a ya thriller and then we have mary or the birth of frankenstein by anne ekout i've not heard anything about this it just has the most beautiful cover and it was half price so i did pick it up i think it's feminist there is a beast inside of her, a monster. It wants to scream. It wants to tear things apart. So I think it's feminist horror. I'm not entirely sure, but it is a stunning edition. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna read it and I'm gonna love it. I'm telling myself I am. Those are all the books that I hauled at the end of 2023, and then two books from 2024. So don't shout to me for my consumerism. I'm already working on it, <laughs> and I'm doing well. But I do say so myself. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what the book you last hauled was down below, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!